Hey guys, Demetrius here and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a workflow which will allow you to automatically generate quotes for your clients. And this is going to be a workflow which I'm sure will be super useful for those of you who have an agency as it will save you tons of time. And I know this from personal experience because every time I have to send out a quotation, I, I hate it. You know, it takes too much time, you know, and you have to generate a new document, a new template. It's just really time consuming. Now, for those of you who don't have an agency and you want to start a side project, I'm actually going to put a link in the description to a free training I'm doing to show you exactly how you can start a web development agency and generate passive income every single month. So feel free to check that out. But with that being said, guys, let's get started. Now, I'm currently inside Integromat, guys. If you don't know what Integromat is, go check it out, Integromat.com. It's an amazing tool that allows you to integrate different services together. If you're familiar with Zapier, it's very similar but 10 times more powerful, right? So go ahead and uh, create your scenario. And the idea, guys, what I want to do is create a Google document, right, and turn it into a template that every time I run this scenario, I'm going to be able to replace data in that template in order to generate a unique quote, right? That's what I want to achieve. So the first thing I need to do is actually actually create my template, create my, um, my quotation template. And as you can see here, I already have one. But what you want to do is either um, uh, create a new Google document and design your code template from scratch right? Or you can upload an existing one if you if you already have a document uh, that you use for quotes. Uh, but another thing you can do guys is actually go to template gallery here and scroll all the way down. And there is a template quote sales quote, right? And this is what I use to create mine. So if you open this up, as you can see, it gives you a really nice template that you can fully customize for your business. So that's the first task. Go ahead and create your own quote template. Now, the second thing we want to do, guys. So right now, if you were using this in your business, every time you have to you had to um, create a new quote, you would have to go on this template, change all the numbers, change all the data, and then export it and send it over to your customer. And that's very time consuming. So what we're going to do now is turn this into a dynamic document with dynamic data fields that um, we can use inside Integromat in order to replace those data fields and generate a unique invoice with no work at all, right? So um, the way we, we do that, guys, is actually really simple. What you want to do is find the data that you want to replace every time. So for example, as you can see right here, there is a, a data field called quote, and this is the quote number, right? So what you want to do is find the data that you want to replace, delete it, and then add two curly brackets, add the data field name. So in this case, it's actually quote uh, number, right? It doesn't matter Like you can call it whatever you want. Just give it something that actually makes sense, you know, uh, so quote number. And then what you want to do at the end is close it with another two curly brackets, just like that, right? This is called a tag, right? And Integromat is going to be able to detect this and replace it with whatever data we assign, right? So you want to do this with every single thing you want to replace on your quote document. So as you can see right here, there is a field called customer name. So usually you would go here and you would put your name, right? Oh, sorry, the, the name of the of the customer, right? So I don't want to do that manually every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and I'm going to replace it with two curly brackets, uh, customer underscore name, close brackets, right? And you would do this with every single thing you want to replace. So this right here is the um, address. So I'm going to replace that with two curly brackets, uh, customer underscore address, close curly brackets, prepare date. So this is the date that the in uh, the quote is generated. So two curly brackets, prepare underscore date, close brackets. So you guys get the idea, right? You would go ahead and do this with every single one of the fields you want to automatically um, populate with the new data every time. However, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my template because 
uh, as you can see this one is not really meant for um, it's not really applicable to agencies right here so, so this is not really uh, this is more for like I don't know e-commerce uh, so I'm gonna go back to um, to my my template right here I'm gonna delete this one so as you can see on mine I actually replaced this table and I um, I added three columns: service name, service description, and total. And this is this is the kind of invoice I use in my own agency. So I have the service name. So for example, web development, and then service. I list out all the things that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna include in that service, and then the total cost of the service, right? And as you can see, guys, I created all the tags for my um, the the data fields, right? And also here inside the table, I have service name service description service description and total and then total here is actually these two are going to be the same right so the data is going to be um both of these are going to have the same data and then down here there is one more thing delivery will be made within and this used to be like uh, i think it used to be like two days and i replaced that with a time frame tag right so this is it these are all the fields that i want to automatically um populate in in my document right so this part is done guys is is that easy the next thing i want to do is go back to integromat and now here i'm gonna create the the first module which is going to be i'm gonna search for google docs right and this is what makes the whole workflow work right so um uh, I'm gonna find this is the option we want create a document from a template and as you can see creates a copy of an existing template document and replaces any tags and the tags are like that basically um, and yeah that's what it does so I'm gonna click that I'm gonna select that and then the first thing you want to do is create a connection with your Google account so you would go to add and then you would follow the steps in order to basically uh, connect your uh, your Google account with Integromat um, and then um, document ID I would click here and this will automatically find all the documents I have and you would select the document that you want to use as your template in this case mine is called sales quote and as you can see guys here it automatically it went through the document right here and it detected all the different tags right so now what I can do is go here and add the data I want to uh, I, I want those um, I, I want those data fields to have right so code number let's say I don't know 560 customer name George customer address uh, London example address Prepare date. Uh, this is the current date. So that's for me. It's 0806-2020. Expire date 14th 06-2020. Service name. Uh, restaurant website development. Service description. So here is where I would go in and add all the different uh, things I'm going to offer. Um, so let's say uh, complete website design and development, uh, logo design, about us, page, contact us, page reservations page and so on right you get the idea uh, and then the total this would be the like the total price and then time frame I'll do like three weeks and then title uh, basically what this is going to do guys is going to generate a new document right it's going to generate uh, a new document for the the quote so here you would give the title of that document so in this case what I like to do for my customers is just say quote and then have the uh, customer's name. So uh, George's rest, the, the customer's name or the customer's business, whatever, restaurant. And then you can also save this into a folder. So what I can do is actually go 
here uh, let's see if we can do this easily Nah, never mind. I need to go. What you can do is basically create a new folder in your Google Drive and save those invoices in that folder. But I'm not going to do that now, so I'm not going to waste any time. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now, guys, the idea is so now I have all the data in there, right? There we go. All the data is in there. So now if I click run to execute this scenario, this should work. As you can see, it's finding all the different fields in the document and replaces it with the data I assigned to it. And now if we go back, there we go, guys. We now have a new quote. And if we click on this, let's let's see if this worked. Perfect. There you go. Magic. How awesome is this, guys? You know, and there you go. Like we don't have to do any work at all anymore. All you got to do is just go here to your module replace all this data with whatever you want to um, whatever you want to have on your quote and that's it you then just click uh, run and it gets generated so this is it for this video guys I really hope you see the power in this workflow and the amount of time this can actually save you now this is actually just the beginning if you think about it you we could uh, actually take this workflow to the next level and actually send out an automated email to the customer with the actual code would generate it as an attachment now if you want me to show you how to do that let me know in the comments below write a comment and also give me more suggestions on how we can make this workflow super powerful and I will do another video for you guys guys in order to show you how to do it so with that being said make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you found this video useful subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when i release new videos and don't forget to, sh uh, to follow me um on my social media profiles if you want to network with me and stay up to date with all the projects i'm working on and with that being said guys i will see you on the next one